Here I have Sony Xperia XZ2 and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So basically let me show you how to unlock FRP, how to remove the factory reset protection. As you can see at some point of initializing setup process the following screen may pop up, verify your account and if you would like to go next you have to input your Google email and password. Let's suppose that you forgot your Google's credentials, let me show you how to bypass this step. Let's go back to the first screen to the welcome panel right here. Of course, it's important to have the internet access. Now let's choose visual aids right here. Choose talkback. Let's enable the talkback by using that switcher. Tap OK. Tap back on. Tap back is a screen reader primarily for people with blindness and low vision. It allows interaction with the device using spoken feedback. Top back tutorial. Showing items one to three of five. Now let's use the L letter on the screen, so let's just simply write L on the screen to enable global contacts menu, let me show you. When enabled, explore by touch lets you hear what's under your finger. Move your finger over the items in the center of your screen. After you have explored 5 items, the lesson will continue. Alert global contacts menu. That's Showing items 1 to 8 of 8. That's what we need, the global contacts menu. Just a letter on the screen enables this mode. Now you have to choose talkback settings. So in order to do it, you have to tap on talkback settings once and then double tap to confirm it. Let me show you once talkback and double tap. Now we have to use the following combination of keys, volume down and volume up. So let's hold down together these two keys. Keep holding them. Let's choose use shortcut, double tap. Top back settings. Let's hold down again, volume down and volume up simultaneously. Top back off. The talk back is disabled, that's what we need. So now let's scroll down and choose help and feedback. Let's select get started with voice access right here. Let's play this YouTube video. Let's use the share key in that corner and tap more key. Voice access. Let me pause this video. All right, let me minimize it. And let's use this account icon in that corner. Choose settings, select about and choose Google privacy policy. Now tap accept and continue. Choose no thanks. And now you can use the Chrome. That's what we need. Let's enter the following website. Download. dot hard reset dot info here I have this website download dot hard reset dot info now let me make it bigger in order to find the Sony folder so let's tap Sony let's make it bigger again and choose FRP right here all right and here you have to download the FRP bypass v8.0 let's tap it tap continue let's allow chrome to access photos media and files on your device tap allow tap ok tap open right here let's choose settings let's allow from this source use back key tap install the FRP bypass is installing, choose open. Now let's use Google account manager, tap for version 6.0. And as you can see, now we have to choose settings. Let's allow from this source also, let's go back, tap install. And app is installed, that's what we need. Let's tap done. Now we have to choose bypass FRP. Tap browser sign in. Here you've got the following screen. Let's use the more key in that corner and choose browser sign in. Tab OK right here. Alright, and here you have to sign in into some Google account. It could be any Google account not even connected to this device. You can also use the new Google account. Just sign in into some Google account that you know the email and password. Let me do it, let's enter the email.
tap next. Now it's time to enter the password, so let me do it. Alright, let's choose sign in. And that's it, the FRP bypass pops up again on the screen, so now we have to press power key, choose restart and let's wait until the welcome panel pops up again on the screen. Alright, as you can see the welcome panel pops up, so now let me go through for the initializing setup process. So let's start by tapping get started right here choose accept, choose Wi-Fi only, let me just do it quickly, let's tap skip, set up as a new, the device is checking for updates, the account added, as you can see, so the Google account that you added previously is already added to your device, let's tap next, the device is getting the account info, choose skip the fingerprint, tap skip anyway, Tap more, more and agree to the Google services. Let me skip the Google Assistant, choose not now to express services. Tap next a couple of times. The device is preparing software configuration. Tap next and choose all set. The Xperia is adding the finishing touches, choose finish button and now you can use the home screen. But to be sure that you just erase the FRP successfully, you have to accomplish the hard reset operation by using the settings. So let's find and select the apps, choose settings, scroll down and select system. Now choose reset and select factory data reset right here. So as you can see here we've got the information about the account that you added previously. Let's choose reset phone and in order to begin the hard reset operation choose erase everything. And right now the device is performing the factory data reset. The phone is erasing also all accounts information. So after the process you will have the certainty that you just erase the everything which is connected with your FRP. As you can see the welcome panel pops up, so let's go and activate your device, tap get started, choose accept, let's use Wi-Fi only, let me tap skip, let me tap set up as a new, here you can skip the connecting to a Wi-Fi, so it's a good sign, tap continue, choose next, next, and tap skip the fingerprint, skip anyway, choose more, more and agree, tap not now, tap skip, tap next, Choose finish and as you can see you just activate your device without any Google verification so you successfully erase the FRP. So thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.